Hello guys, so today we're going to be building the CN, Canadian National, MLW FPA4 locomotive in Minecraft. Now, these are very older locomotives, and this is what it looks like. Um, a lot of these, or pretty much all of these, were scrapped a long time ago. Um, some of the FPA4 types of locomotives, like other types, are in museum service, but as far as I know... The FPA4, like, the, like, exact FPA4 type currently no longer runs, and I'm pretty sure, like I said, all of them are scrapped and are now gone, but engines similar or related to this type are still in museum service, so it's great to know that we can still remember these kinds of locomotives, but we can still remember the FPA4 in exact by uh, building it in Minecraft, and I'll be teaching you how to do that in Minecraft, and this is what it looks like. So, let's get started on the train build. So we're going to grab the black wool, and we're going to add a 2x3 of black wool where the front is, and behind it you're going to add another 2x3 right behind it, like that. And now on the top blocks behind there, add black walls on the sides like that now it's uh, black stained glass panes on the sides like that and now it's add uh, another brick stairs on the sides facing toward the back like this and now let's grab the black wool and we're gonna go back by 22 blocks with the black wool let's make it 24 blocks long so that's one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty-three, twenty-four. And now we're gonna grab the black wool, and we're gonna go to the back, and add two more on the sides, like that, so it's five blocks long. Now let's grab the dark oak trap door, and the nether brick stairs. And add another brick stairs upside down on the sides, kind of facing into the middle like that. And let's add dark oak trap doors in the very middle there, like that. And uh, now let's grab the black wool. And we're just going to fill this whole thing in with the black wool in the middle. Make it three blocks wide, like that. Now let's grab the nether brick stairs and add upside down ones on the sides like that. Now let's add open dark oak trap doors into that stairs like that. And let's add more nether brick stairs on the back like this. Through a little bit of a staircase like that, like stairs. So it's like that. And that's what it should look like. And the bottom on this train actually isn't too hard, so we might as well do it now. So we're going to grab the dark oak fence gate, nether brick wall, nether brick slab, nether brick stairs, and the hoppers. Like that. And once you have all those items, we're going to add nether brick wall, like that. Add three nether brick slabs, and then another brick wall, like that. And underneath the nether brick walls, add dark oak fence gates. And now add nether brick stairs, like that. Kind of facing into each other a little bit, but there's a gap. But filling in that gap, let's add a, another nether brick slab. So it's like this really weird wheel pattern. And then let's add open dark oak fence gates on both those middle slabs. Like that, for a little stair, like that. Because there's a little bit of a staircase going up to the cab there, which there is a tiny little interior here, which I'll show you how to do later. Now let's go to the left side, and we're actually going to do the same thing for the wheels, but first on those stairs, add hoppers as well. And that's how to make the wheels. And now let's do the same thing on the other side, like I said, just like this. And, uh, then add the hoppers on there, and that's the wheels. 
And now we're actually going to do the same thing on the back with the wheels. But you see these two little dark oak fence gates that are the staircase? Don't do it on the back. It's only a front detail. And you're not supposed to do it on the back. And right behind this block here, these two stairs for the little staircase again. You're going to add the wheels like this. And uh, on this side, it's a, a lot much more simpler thanks to no uh, dark oak fence gates staring up there like that. And now um, we're just going to do it on the other side like that. And uh, once that's done, uh, we're now going to do this uh, middle fuel tank here, which is relatively kind of easy to make. Um, so we're going to grab the black wool and the nether brick stairs and leave a block from the wheels. And we're going to add three black wools an upside down nether brick stairs and then three black walls and we're going to want to do the same thing on the left side like that and now let's add three black walls underneath kind of like this like that and once you've added the fuel tank add upside down nether brick stairs like that and now we're gonna add some trap doors and buttons. Now there's a lot of these items, so I'll just grab them first and tell you what you need. So we're gonna need the uh, acacia button, dark oak button, birch button, polished blackstone button, and dark oak trap door, like that. And uh, once you have all those, all those items, slash blocks, slash whatever it is, we're going to want to grab the acacia button. And on those sides of the fuel tank, add acacia buttons, like that. On the left side, add two polished blackstone buttons close to the front. And one to the back, like that. And then right in that middle black hole there, add an open dark oak trap door. And on the right side, leave a block from that front block on the fuel tank. And add a dark oak button. And then acacia button. Then leave a lock where the stairs is. And then add a dark oak trap door. Then a birch button. And then a dark oak button. Like that. Um, and once that's done, we're gonna start the upper part. Because we're almost done the um, bottom, actually. We just have to do the couplings, which I'll show you to do. So we're gonna grab the tripwire hook, dark oak fence gate, and another brick stairs oh and another brick slab and let's add another brick slab up there like that in the very middle block and another above because this is a little coupling and that little uh, slab for like the doorway <laughs> sorry no engine here corrupted to yeah i remember i put that um you don't have to add that if you want but you can put that if you want uh, cause there's no really, in there's no real interior to this. I didn't really build an interior for the engine. I've just had an interior for, like, the cab, like that. Because there's a bunch of blocks sticking in and all that, and it's just really hard. <laughs> so it's funny. Sorry, no engine here. Corrupted too. Anyway, so, uh, now let's go to the front. And let's add an open dark oak fence gate in the very middle bottom part. I mean, part. Oh my god. And let's add sideways uh, dark oak fence gates going into there. And let's open them into that little fence gate like that. And then right there, add another uh, brick stairs like that. And tripwire hooks on the sides like that. Now the stairs is for the coupling and stuff. And now let's add a uh, sideways... Uh, dark oak fence gates on all these blocks on the back just like that except for the ones on the sides of the middle let's add regular ones like that so we have this weird pattern but we're gonna open these ones into there and these ones into these ones 
it's hard to explain, but you can kind of see right here what it's like. I know it's a mess, but it's for all the little cords and stuff right there. Um, if you look at a Google image and see the back of this, you'll kind of see what I mean. Um, now let's grab the red wool. And let's add three red wools on the bottom, like that. And on the sides, add stone buttons, like that. And now let's grab the red stained glass pane. And above those black stained glass panes on the side, add a red stained glass pane. And now let's grab this smooth quartz stairs, an acacia trap door, and then acacia trap doors on the sides, and open them. And then this mill block, add a smooth quartz stairs, like that. Now let's add a 3x3 three three on the bottom here. Or, uh, 3x5 on the bottom, like that, I mean. And now let's add 3 on these sides, like that. And now I'll do all this mill stuff. So that was a part of the CN logo. We're also going to add one in there, like that. And an upside down one in there, like that. Now let's add a red wool in there, and then a 2x5 of red wools in there, so we kind of have the CN logo like that. It's really complicated, but that's what it looks like. Now let's add acacia fence gates on the sides, and open them like that. And then on these acacia trap doors, add acacia fences like that for more detail. And now let's grab the uh, red wool and the bedrock. And on these acacia trap doors, add red wool. And in the middle block, let's add bedrock. Because on this light here, there's a little vent. And now on these red wools, add acacia buttons, like that. And now let's add, uh, let's see, let's add three red wools on these sides, like that. And let's add a 2 by 3 of red wool in there, like that. And now let's grab the black wool, and just add three black wools in there, like that. I know, it's a lot of detail, but that's what it looks like. Um, well, I guess it's kind of a lot of detail. Um, let's grab the acacia trap door, and add three right there, kind of going to the front. And three there, going into there, like that. And some of those sides, going into the middle. I was just seeing what would happen when I opened these trapdoors. Now we're going to add five dark oak trapdoors here, like that. And, uh, now let's grab the dark oak fence gate. And on the blocks underneath the sides of the, I mean, on the blocks underneath the dark oak trapdoors, add fence gates there and open them, like that. Now let's grab the ladder, and underneath the dark oak um, fence gate that you opened at a, lad a ladder. Uh, and let's add another going to the back like that with it. And now let's grab the birch button and the acacia button. And, that, and add an acacia button next to the ladders. And underneath the acacia button, add a birch button. Now we're going to want to do the same thing on the other side, but instead of a birch button, a stone button. And then from this stone button, leaving a block to the back, add another stone button, like that. And uh, once that's done, now let's grab the black wool and the acacia stairs, and add a black wool behind there, like that. And then upside down acacia stairs toward the back, like that. Now let's add two red wool above, like that. And then let's add a, another black wool up there. And add a 2x3, like that. Now let's add an upside down acacia stairs right there, like that. And two red wools above, like that. Now let's grab the black wool and the black stained glass block. And add two black stained glass blocks on both sides, like that. And then a black wool in the middle. Now let's add five nether brick stairs above, like that. And now let's add a block right there in the very middle part. And add dark oak trap doors on there like that for little uh, windshield wipers. 
So when they open, they're like that. I know, they're supposed to be down, or go down, whatever. But there's no room because of these ones, so thanks to those ones, it's just like that. Uh, now with the birch fence gate. I have birch fence gates on those uh, black stained glass blocks. For like little, uh, cause there's like light gray stained glass panes for like little mirrors or things like that on the sides, but on this train, it's kind of hard to do that, so I just added a birch fence gate there, like that, and opened it into there. And now let's do the uh, light. So let's grab the birch button, smooth quartz block, and the item frame. And add an item frame on that bedrock, a smooth quartz block in the item frame, and then a birch button on that block for the uh, for the light, like that. And now for the number plate, which will be the dark oak sign and the white die. And the number I chose for this train was six seven. Sorry. Oh my god, sorry. 6768. So you can do that if you want, or you can do a different number. I just press space and then add the number. I mean, I press enter and then the number. So it's like that. And I think that looks a lot better than just uh, this. Because I don't think that looks very good, does it? That looks a lot better. Oops. Actually, it's fine because I removed the sign, but now I have to add the red wool back. So you know what I mean? Uh, now let's uh, grab the red nether brick stairs. I mean, just nether brick stairs. Smooth quartz block. Black wool. Acacia stairs. And, yeah. That's it. A lot of items, but it's okay. And now let's add a... Uh, Another brick stairs here, like that. And then an upside down another brick stairs on the side, like that. And now it's at a smooth quartz block behind there, like that. And then let's fill the rest of this in with the uh, black wool. I think this was supposed to be smooth quartz block, but this does kind of look good. I just copy this, so uh, if you want, you can add a smooth quartz block in there, but I'm going to keep it black wool. Now let's do the same thing with the stairs on this side. Now let's add two acacia stairs going up. And now let's add a black wall there and an upside down acacia stairs like that. And let's do the same thing on the other side with the acacia stairs and black wall. Now let's add a uh, some more black wall down there for the floor of the cab. And then let's add a 2 by 3 there for the back of the cab. And black walls on the sides so like that for, um, you know, just the black on the side of there. And add black walls on those sides as well for a uh, little uh, black parts of the cab. And now let's add black stained glass panes in those blocks for like windows. And now let's add sideways and other brick stairs. Cause this is a bit of a boxy engine, you notice, because a lot of these, like, go inside and kind of narrow in a bit. And then there's the railing on the side so that the person who's walking in doesn't fall, but this one's just completely boxed in, and it's just boxy. So you notice how there's no railing on this one. And that's why, uh, because there's no need of it. Uh, now that we're actually, um ready to build the inside i'll show you how to make the interior so it's actually really simple you just need the stone button nether brick stairs and the lever really and you're just gonna want to add a little triangle shape of stone buttons on that back part there for um to activate the lights i even think the lights are like that pattern on the back, but I still do it anyway, just because, you know, it's cool. And you're gonna wanna add one right there as well, which actually works well, because there's only one light on the top there. Actually, the buttons can also be, like, other detail as well, not just the lights, you know what I mean. Now it's a another brick stairs there for, like, the seats. Now it's a lever there for, uh, the little, uh, I think it's the throttle, I'm not exactly sure. 
And now let's add three black holes there, so we can add the lever there for like the horn. Which we'll build the horn in just a minute. Let's just fill the rest in with the black wool as well. For the little roof of the cab. And now let's grab the dark oak fence gate and the bell. Let's add a bell right there on the very back of what we built here so far. On the right side, like that. Now let's add a dark oak fence gate there, which would be for the horn. I wonder what the horn of the FPA4 sounded like. Now, uh, before we actually build these iron bar things, we're gonna do the debug stick stuff with the, uh, birch buttons, which, we'll just grab the birch buttons. Oh, there's also one with the acacia button on the left side. So let's grab the birch button, block of your choice, acacia button, and the debug stick, which you just need command to get, which is slash give, at s, or your Minecraft username. And then debug underscore stick like that. And then you're gonna want to get uh, birch buttons onto these two stairs down here like that. And on the left side, you're gonna want to get a acacia button onto this very top acacia stairs there like that. And once that's done, we're now gonna grab the iron bars and on the sides of this whole stair thing here. Like that, starting from above the wheels all the way to the um, sides of the window here, the black stained glass pane with iron bars. And uh, once that's done, uh, well, we're pretty much done the front, I think. Oh, wait, no, we're not. We still have to add the dark oak button here. So we're just going to add a sideways dark oak button next to the bell, like that. And now, uh, we're just gonna do this part, which requires smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, black wool, and nether brick stairs. So you're gonna add a smooth quartz block, upside down smooth quartz stairs toward the back of black wool, then nether brick stairs, just like we did with the smooth quartz stairs. Now we're gonna add smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, nether brick, black wool, nether brick stairs. Smooth quartz, black wool, nether brick, and just keep doing that pattern until, uh, actually you're only going to want to do it, uh, three times with the, or you're going to want to do it two times and three with the smooth quartz because once you've done, once there's like three of these smooth quartz pillars, we're going to add two black wools. And let's add back to back, upside down. Uh, smooth quartz stairs after these two black wools. And let's add three black wool. Now, on the next row above, add a upside down nether brick stairs, smooth quartz block, upside down smooth quartz stairs, black wool, upside down nether brick stairs, smooth quartz block, upside down smooth quartz stairs, black wool, upside down nether brick stairs. Smooth quartz block, upside down smooth quartz stairs, and then the rest is just going to be black wool, like that. Now this next row actually requires a polished black stone slab, so let's just grab that right quick. And then add a black wool, upside down other brick stairs, smooth quartz block, upside down smooth quartz stairs. And then just repeat that again with the black wool upside down other brick stairs, smooth quartz block, upside down smooth quartz stairs. Then it's set a black wool, three polished black stone block, I mean slab. And then just five black wools, or just fill the rest in with black wool, however you want to call it, like that. Now let's grab the polished black stone and bedrock. And let's add five polished black stone. A black wool, three polished black stone, three bedrock, which is above these slabs, hopefully, and then five polished black stone. And then for the next row, it's just gonna be nether brick stairs, like this. Now we're gonna detail this side, which I'll show you how to do. So, first, you're gonna wanna grab the dark oak button and the birch button, and with the dark oak button, Add a dark oak button on that black wool, like that. Then let's grab a birch button, and you see there's this, like, white stripe here underneath this dark oak button, and there's a second one here. Well, on the second one, on this very middle block here, 
add a birch button. And you see these two stairs here on the back? Well, above those two stairs, add a birch button, like that. Now let's grab the iron bars. And you see where this uh, birch button is? Let's grab the iron bars, and let's add some next to it. And one block underneath, add iron bars. And two blocks above, add more iron bars. And now you see that birch button down there. We'll add an iron bar next to it on both sides. And add another iron bars above. Now let's grab the iron trap door. And you see there's this uh, birch button. We'll leave a block going up. And then let's add an iron trap door like that. Now we're going to use the debug stick. And we're going to grab the black wool, dark oak button, birch button, and the debug stick. And on that block above the birch button there, you're going to get a dark oak button there. And, uh, beneath this birch button, get another birch button there. Like that. And there should be an iron bars there. And you see that little stair right here nearby? You're going to want to get a birch button on there, like that. And then after that, uh, I need to clear, but the command was refusing to work. Okay, so now there's another row behind there. Um, I'll tell you what to get. So we're going to grab the black wool, smooth quartz block, and we're going to add two black wool on this row behind. Then, uh, let's add two smooth quartz block, two black wool, I mean one black wool actually, I mean two black wool, oh my goodness, that was, uh, tricky. Then two smooth quartz block, two black wool, and actually not just two, let's just fill the rest in with it. After, there's little white stripes, like that. And, uh, now let's grab the, uh, black wool and a smooth quartz block and let's add a smooth quartz block there two black wool two smooth quartz block two black wool two smooth quartz block two black wool actually not just two just fill in the rest there again and now the next row we're gonna grab the smooth quartz block add two smooth quartz two black wool Two smooth quartz, um, three black wool, or four black wool actually, and then two smooth quartz block, and then the rest will just be black wool. And then I can fill the next two rows in with just black wool. So a two by, uh, I actually want to see how much that is. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Uh, two by seventeen of black wool. That's a lot. And now we're just going to fill this entire part in with black wool as well. Now you don't have to do the entire thing, just that top part there, but... You can do it if you want anyway. I'd recommend it too. Um, actually... Um, you see, um, the very back row there? Well, you can do the very bottom row there, where this slab is, but two rows above, there's going to be a dark oak door there, like that. So just leave that alone. And then when you fill in the black wool, you can fill it in as much as you want. But I'm actually going to leave a row after that dark oak door, so I can write down this. Sorry, no end in here. Corrupted too. I'm going to do that again. Signed, Corrupted too. Oh, I accidentally did the... Yeah, like that. You can put that if you want, but you don't have to. And now we're going to do the right side, because the left side is pretty much finished now. We're just going to do a few details first. So let's grab the dark oak button, and leave a block from this sideways dark oak button. Then another sideways one. Leave a block. Now we're just going to add a normal one. Now we're going to grab the daylight detector. 
and the dark oak button and on the back let's set a dark oak button on the very side there like that and then a sideways one diagonal like that and then there add a daylight detector and right click it then leave a block toward the front and add two like that kind of like that and now let's add a dark oak button on that side there like that outside the dark oak fence gate and starting on this block where the iron bar is iron bar i mean is add a dark oak fence gate and keep adding the fence gates until you get to this polished black stone block and then right beside where all the like dark oak fence gates are add nether brick walls like that and now up there let's add a nether brick slab like that and then a dark oak trap door above, like that. And now we're gonna do the left side, which will kinda take a little while. And then once we add the left side, we'll finish the top, and that'll be it for this tutorial. Now this is actually gonna be a short tutorial for how detailed it is, but uh, let's grab the smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, black wool, and nether brick stairs. And uh, I'm gonna add a, let's see here, let's add a smooth quartz block, then an upside down smooth quartz stairs, then a black wool, upside down nether brick stairs, and we're gonna repeat that pattern two times, I mean one more time, and then with the smooth quartz block, let's add a smooth quartz block, and a smooth quartz stairs, and then about two uh, black walls and then upside down back to back smooth court stairs and then three black walls like that and now we're gonna like add an upside down nether brick stairs smooth quartz block and then upside down smooth court stairs black wool upside down nether brick stairs and uh let's see Let's add a smooth quartz block, upside down smooth quartz stairs, then a black wall, upside down nether brick stairs, smooth quartz block, and an upside down smooth quartz stairs. <laughs> and that's a black wall everywhere else, like that. And now we're going to grab the uh, polished blackstone slab, and we're going to grab the black wall, add a black wall. Upside down nether brick stairs, then a smooth quartz block, upside down smooth quartz stairs, then a black wall, upside down nether brick stairs, um, and now a smooth quartz block, upside down smooth quartz stairs, like that. Then let's add a black wall, and then three polished blackstone slabs, and then the rest of the blocks will be black wool. And then let's add uh, the polished blackstone and the bedrock to our inventory. And now let's add five polished blackstone, a black wool, three polished blackstone, then three bedrocks, which should hopefully be above the polished blackstone slab. And then five polished blackstone slabs, which would be the rest of the row. And then this whole top part should just be nether brick stairs, like that. And uh, now, we're going to do that very last row in there, which won't be too hard, honestly. Um, now let's grab the black wool and the smooth quartz block. And add two black wools, two smooth quartz blocks. I mean, two black wools, two smooth quartz blocks, and then the rest will just be black wool, like that. Now the next row will be slightly different we're gonna add a smooth quartz block then two black walls two smooth quartz block two black walls two smooth quartz block and then the rest will be black wool again and for the next row we're uh, gonna add two smooth quartz blocks two black wool two smooth quartz blocks two black wool, or actually four black wool, and then two smooth quartz block, and then the rest will be black wool, like that. And once that's done, 
or uh actually the rest can just be black wool and that part is now finished and now let's grab the dark oak button daylight detector and another brick slab and you see these two daylight detectors here well, we're gonna add another and right click it in that last spot like that now in that corner that's missing a daylight detector add another brick slab right there like that and on this daylight detector we just added here add a sideways dark oak button then leave two blocks and add a daylight detector and right click it like that and now let's grab a dark oak trap door and add one right there like that like, it's kind of hard to explain, right where these two buttons are. Like that. I don't even know what I'm doing, really. Alright, I'm just going to add the trapdoor. It doesn't matter which way it's facing. I don't even know why I'm bothering. Uh, and now all we have to do is just add a few details on the left side. Do some back details, and we're done the train and actually this is being recorded on uh, the first of I mean not the first the 12th of January the day I uploaded these heritage unit videos um I did this before I mean beforehand so that I uh like um I didn't do a huge delay cuz I always do big delays for some reason um but I'm doing it beforehand so that I don't have a big delay but anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. So let's grab the uh, iron bars, dark oak button, birch button, iron trap door, debug stick, and a block of your choice. Now I'll let you get all that for a second because uh, it's a lot and will take a while to get. So you can just pause the video and get your stuff. And once you're done, we're going to start building. So you see this black wool right here, right beside this acacia stairs? We'll add a dark oak button there. And we're going to add one right here as well, above this front polished black stone button, like that. And now you see where there was iron bars on this side? Well, we're going to actually copy the iron bars onto this side, so it's kind of symmetrical like that. But we're not going to debug stick the buttons there. But you see where there's that button on that stairs there? Well, we're actually going to do the same thing on uh, this side as well. And now we're just going to do this little detail here. So, we're just going to add this birch button right here, like that. And let's add two iron bars on the side, like that. And then that iron trap door as well. I actually wonder if it will... Uh... I wonder if that will actually, like change anything other than I wonder if it will change anything other than which way it's facing like uh, let's see it can be waterlogged powered and open um yeah you can do a bunch of things okay I was just testing sorry guys um now let's add a birch button on that polished blackstone button I mean block and add a birch button underneath that one as well which will be for the light, which we'll do in just a minute. Let's add a dark oak button right there, like that as well. And now let's add another brick walls on this side as well. And now let's grab the smooth quartz block and item frame. And you see this bottom birch button there underneath the one on the polished blackstone button? I mean, polished blackstone block. There's a button on the polished blackstone bo block. And I placed a birch button underneath as well. Well, that one underneath, we're going to add an item frame on that block. And add a smooth quartz block in the item frame. So it looks like a light. And once you add the light, we're done with the train, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to look for extra details we forgot or something like that. Because uh, I usually sometimes forget a detail. Well, not usually, but sometimes I do. And then sometimes I either leave a comment or something in the description, or just make an extra miss details video. 
Well, uh, I'm just looking to make sure I don't have to do that. And as far as I know, we're good. And that we're done the tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want more videos like this, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Oh, we did forget a detail. Ooh, it's a good thing. So let's add three dark oak trap doors on the side there as well. And I think you're also supposed to add it on the right side. I'm just going to Google that quick. Um, just a second. I'll just turn off my mic. So apparently you are supposed to, so just add three uh, dark oak trap doors on the side. When I was building this, I must have forgot to, but once that's done, that's it for the tutorial. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed building the CN FPA4, which currently no longer runs unless it's a museum service or something like that. Which should be great if some of these were still museum service, because these are really cool locomotives that just don't run anymore. And it's sad to know that we won't be seeing these a lot anymore. But we can still remember them by just, uh, I don't know, remembering them or building them or replicating them in video games and stuff like that. Like Minecraft and other building games. And yeah, this is um, it for the video. The next tutorial will be um, tomorrow. At the time of recording, this will be two days, which, well, hopefully tomorrow or in two days from when I'm recording this. The CSX ET4 for AC. And then I might do the, uh, well, I mean, I will be doing CN3069 ET4 for AC. And then uh, I'm not sure what I'll do after that. Maybe I'll do the CN RS18. And then I'll do the CNC40 8W. And then I'll do the Wheeling and Lake Erie remake. I'm not sure yet. But anyway. That's all for this train tutorial. See ya in the next video. Bye.